Welcome to Smithville Chamber Chatter, coming to you from historic Smithville, Texas. We're here to talk about all things Smithville, including upcoming events, updates and tips for and about local businesses, important news, election updates, and more. Brought to you by the Smithville Area Chamber of Commerce, I'm your host, April Daniels. Welcome to our podcast. Good afternoon and welcome to the Smithville Chamber Chatter with your host, April Daniels. We're excited to be bringing you a new episode of our Chamber Chatter podcast, sponsored this week by the Smithville Area Chamber of Commerce and Mars Jones Funeral Home, All Faiths of the Pines Chapel. Our guest today is Frank Weiser. Good afternoon, Frank, and thank you for being our first guest on the Smithville Chamber Chatter podcast in 2021. Thanks for having me, April, and appreciate the invitation. Uh, Never having done a podcast, I didn't know quite what it would all be about, but uh, it looks like it ought to be a lot of fun. So let's get going. Great. Thank you, Frank. So talk to us a little bit about Mars Jones Funeral Home, All Face of the Pines Chapel, and what you do and what all is. Tell us all about Mars Jones. Well, what you know, uh, and maybe a lot of people in town don't, is that we are one of Smithville's oldest businesses. Uh, we've been around uh, in, uh, in downtown Smithville since uh, maybe the 1890s. I don't know exactly. In fact, maybe some of your, your listeners uh, could nail it down better than I can. Uh, it, it, it's just been there for a long time, and we've served a lot of people in Smithville. Um, Also, what you know, and maybe some of your listeners don't, is that we merged with All Faiths of the Pines, and uh, we are in the All Faiths location currently. We have moved out of the old Mars Jones building at uh, 104 Olive Street, and now we're over off of American Legion Drive. And uh, we're getting in, we're making some nice changes. Uh, I think the folks in Smithville are going to really like what they see with our service and and our facilities. So we're really excited about the future. Well, that's exciting to hear. And for our listeners that are very familiar with Smithville, you'll know exactly where American Legion Road is and uh, where their new location is. It's a lovely location there. So we certainly encourage you to go and and take a tour and and talk with the folks over at Mars Jones. Speaking of Mars Jones, I do want to thank them again. uh, They are today's sponsor of our podcast. Again, Mars Jones Funeral Home, All Face of the Pines Chapel. So Frank... Tell our audience a little bit about the importance of pre-planning their final expenses, particularly as it relates to small business owners. Well, since this is a podcast and you're not going to be able to get quite as much out of a podcast as uh, maybe your listeners will when we do our interview on uh, May the 27th uh, as part of our uh, interview that we're going to do with you, um, I won't touch on everything, but I will hit a lot of the high points. There's really three reasons why folks need to consider prearranging. The first reason is so that your heirs, your kids, your spouse don't have to worry about what you would have wanted. They don't have to worry about, well, did we do the right thing? You know, dad never told us. Um, Guys, you are, we are uh, the worst at planning ahead for funerals. Um, As a small business owner, you have to plan for a whole lot of different things. Um, more than, you know, what the average person would have to. And I think this goes along with being a small business owner. It just makes sense to do that. Uh, It's going to be one less thing for uh, your spouse, for your children, for uh, everybody to have to worry about. Um, The next thing is that you get it paid for and you get to pay for it on your terms. Um, It would take a long time to go into all the ins and outs of the payment plans, but that's one of the things that I really try to do is make it simple. Um, you know, we go over it, make sure you're good with it, make sure it fits your budget. You pick the goods and services that you want, not what else, not what someone else would want for you, right? Um, the third thing is that you're going to fill out some vital statistics when you sit down with me and we go through and do your prearrangement. And those vital statistics are not meant to be nosy, they're not meant to be uh, intrusive. But when we get all those vital statistics down, it gives the funeral director the information that he or she needs to complete the death certificate. And the last thing your family wants to do after you've passed is sit in the funeral home and answer 20 questions. So the goals of the prearrangement are to get everything paid for, 
get what you want and get your family out of the funeral home as quickly as possible. Uh, there really isn't any other reasons to do it that are uh, that really hit the top three. So planning ahead is something that um, that we do in all kinds of respects, whether it's college education or retirement or uh, succession planning for a business. Uh, it just comes as kind of as part of the territory, I think. Thank you, Frank. I really appreciate you going into those details with us. I think most of our listeners, whether you're watching or uh, listening in on our um, iTunes or Spotify, understand the importance of pre-planning and understand the importance of um, working with a local uh, funeral home provider that understands the needs here locally and understands what it is that you need for you and your family and your small business. I certainly encourage all of you to watch a much longer presentation that will be brought to us by Frank Weiser with Mars Jones, um, who will go into much more depth uh, as he will be included in our virtual uh, training series that the Chamber is bringing to you that started in January and goes all the way through August. Frank is uh, scheduled to speak on May 27th at noon. That will be a virtual, um, a virtual event, but it will be live. So Frank, Frank will be there to give his presentation and then answer all of your questions uh, at the end of the presentation. So please be sure to tune in to that program. Frank, is there anything else you wanna add before we wind it up today? There is. Um, one of the things that we have a lot of in this area is veterans. And one of the things that folks don't know about often is that veterans, you know, if they would like to be buried in a state cemetery, um, that space is provided free of charge. Oftentimes families don't really understand what all their benefits are. So if you have any questions about veterans uh, planning, call us either here at the funeral home or tune into our training session in um, coming up in May, and we'll go over all those things. Um, often families learn more from questions in the audience uh, than they actually do from my presentation, and that, that's perfectly fine. Um, some of the questions that come up are, are uh, really good and really informative, so you're going to want to make sure to tune into that. That's great. That's great, Frank. Thank you so much. And thank you for again, having me. I appreciate it. Absolutely. I want to thank you for appearing with us today for this episode of the Smithville Chamber Chatter podcast. Again, I do really appreciate it, Frank, and I look forward to a much longer conversation at our next session in May. I do for too. Thank you. Yes, absolutely. For our lis listeners, I just want to say reach out to us if you'd like to be featured in our Chamber Chatter podcast brought to you twice each month airs on uh, every other Wednesday at noon on our Chamber Facebook page as, where, as well as our YouTube channel, iTunes, and Spotify. And until then, we will see you on Main Street. Thank you for listening to Smithville Chamber Chatter with your host, April Daniels. If you'd like to be a guest, email us at april.daniels at smithvilletx.org. Between now and our next episode, be sure to check out the Chamber's website at www.smithvilletx.org. Until then, we'll see you on Main Street.